Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and we're doing something a little different today. Uh, this is a safe mode stream, which means it does not necessarily follow any uh, established series, but it does definitely follow something that I wanted to do. And uh, for anyone in... Uh, for anyone watching from YouTube who has not seen me stream Final Fantasy XIV, then might I introduce you to Varen Ra. Uh, she is a level 90 bard, uh, kind of working toward being a level 90 Omni, uh, Omnicraft. And uh, today we're going to experience the new content for uh, patch 6.5. Uh, growing light. I can entirely expect that like, there will basically be no one in chat the entire time, but whatever. We're doing this for fun. Because I want to. And also because I finished the longest journey last time. Okay. So basically, what we're going to do today... Uh, well, at first I'm going to take this out. I have fantasy 14.6.5.1. Alpha. Hey Alex, how you doing? So what we're gonna do today? Uh, we're going to be doing the um, the new set of quests for 6.5, which includes a new dungeon and a new uh, trial. Um. Also, I believe that there is a new alliance raid, so we're going to be doing that. And uh, that's pretty much all I have planned. There might be... I might do some other random stuff if I feel like it, but that's what I'm going to be focusing on. And of course, it's Tuesday, so the first thing to do when you log in on Tuesday, is go see Chloe. I can remember how to path to Chloe, apparently. This is not it. Ready for the week to be over, and it's only Tuesday. Yeah, I feel you there, bud. There we go. We got our new journey. Let's see what's up. Oh, 149, 61 to 69. Nice. 81 to 89 and 90. Should be able to at least fill up the 90 today. Uh, Void Arc, Tower at Paradigm's Breach. I don't think I have that unlocked. I've been kind of focusing toward getting to end game content, so I've been ignoring some of the side stuff. I don't believe I've unlocked uh, Tower at Paradigm's Breach. Uh, Alexander Midas, Eden's Verse, Iconoclasm, or, Ful or Fulgence, so I have done that. Abyssos, that's the new Pandemonium. Eat Dungeons, probably not going to do that. Kafa Amphitheater Extreme, that is uh, Shiva. Uh, Thor March, that's uh, King Mughal. And it was blue, that's, uh, I forget his name, the big whale. Containment P1 T6. I, I tried one of the Containment Bay Extreme Raids solo last week. Those are hard. <laughs> I mean, yes, they're meant to be play. They're they're meant to be cleared with eight people, not solo. Especially not if you're a bard. But those are hard. At least for me. Hell's Cure. I don't think I've unlocked that in extreme anyway. I would have to party up for that. And Crystalline Conflict, which is PvP. And I'm not going to do that. Um. Okay. Now that uh, we've done that. All oh, right. 
I don't want to do that. I can use my return. We're gonna go and rise at him and uh, talk to um, ah. I gave him some bad names. This is Megaduta and. Oh geez, that was a lot of people here. That, that's why it's a good thing that there is a, a key you can press to make all of these people non-interactable so that we can actually talk to Vashon. Um, so let's review what has happened since 6.1, just at a glance. But basically 6.1 starts with uh, basically treasure hunt. We don't know where we're going to find or even if we're going to find anything. We end up finding a void portal, um, which is being kept open for the sole reason that uh, the, um, the satrap of the city, uh, Vritra, who is a, a dragon, uh, lost his sister many, many you know, centuries ago and kept that, um, that void portal open just in the off chance that he might ever be able to rescue her. Um, we have since been to the void where we uh, met someone who we ended up naming Zero because they have forsaken any identity of their own. Um, who has so far helped us um, tried to find Vritra's sister, um, and we did find Vritra's sister, but unfortunately not exactly intact. Uh, I am bad at remembering names, so give me a second. Uh, Golbez and his, uh, his fearsome four, I guess you could call him, uh, had captured, um, I can't remember Vitra's sister's name, but uh, had captured her all that time ago and were using her energy to power their um, their misdeeds over in the 13th. Uh, we have since defeated Goldez, but there still remains the fact that the 13th is basically an entire world of void. But then we also have the first, which is an entire world that was almost devoured by light. So Yeshtola had the brilliant idea of what if we throw a motherfucker at another motherfucker. And hopefully the light and the darkness cancel each other out and we can kind of um, regain balance on both of those shards. So let's get this thing started. I am not really going to bother with uh, voice acting for the non-voice acted parts of this, but there is definitely voice acted parts and we'll let those speak for themselves. Yeah, that sounds like... Uh... Sounds like Yishtola's plans. Anyway, there's Rita, by the way. And this must be... Yep, Yishtola. There's zero on the right there. No voice acting. I am honestly shocked. Am I not surprised that you've been researching your ass off? Uh, 
Oh dear. Ah yes, that's a, that's another point. Mare Lamentorum, by the way, is on the moon. We opened a void gate there, somehow. But the um, problem is that void gate is still open, and um, despite the fact that we have a protective uh, barrier around it, well, it's not, uh, not likely to hold forever. So basically, we gotta step on it. Hope my day is going well. My my day hasn't gone well. Last night wasn't particularly good either. We're gonna make the best out of right now. Of course you have. What can't you do, Yishtala? <laughs> yeah, the, that's a simple thing to say, sure. But, um... There's some problems with that, with that theory. <laughs> exactly. To review the uh, sound settings because there definitely should be voice acting in this cutscene. Maybe there just isn't, I don't know. These are transmitters. to Sid to just be able to build a lot of technology in the modern day. Just tell them what to build and how to build it and they'll do it.
I mean, how do you test something like this in a meaningful way at small scale? It would hardly be the first time we play about here. That seems... that seems pretty accurate. Seeing as the Warrior of Light is the only person who actually can still travel back and forth to, uh, to and from the first, yeah, only only a Varen can actually. Ah, uh, it's not gonna be so easy, Zero. Yes, but that seems like a really bad idea. Also, the way that the Scions made the journey back from the first to the source was only possible because their bodies were still present in the source. It was just their souls, basically, that were on the first. Wait, since something else is. I mean, if you're sure. So you've been standing there the entire time, Estinian. Are you are you going to contribute to this conversation? I didn't think so. And it took a second to uh to respawn back in the world with all of these people around. Okay. So we go straight from one cutscene to another. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> now this cutscene would not have uh, voice acting in it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there just is not going to be any voice acting for now because of the various strikes that are happening. I don't know if uh, the voice actors for Final Fantasy XIV are uh, participating in that strike or what, but it's not impossible. So rather than delay this patch until they can get the voice acting in, and just gonna put out the patch. Also, someone is DMing me.
Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Go see Beck uh, Beck Lou. Triumphant return as though I haven't been there recently. You know, I've been working in the Crystarium trying to get the delivery class done so I can get my uh, DOHs and DOLs at the valet. Okay. It's someone who keeps DMing me to ask about joining their free company, and I'm like, I've already told you no like five times at least. I'm just gonna block you now. I'm sorry, I didn't want to. But if you don't understand no, then I guess that's what I gotta do. Anyway, let's go to the Crystarium. Load times are going to be slow today, so that's just how it is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to check the sound settings just to be sure I have voices at 100. Alright. To the Cabinet of Curiosity. Beck Lou could be. Definitely not the person who is surrounded by warriors of light. Simple? What's that? Okay. I like the theme for the Crystarian mostly. People usually eat roosters or just the hens, or just the hens. I... I... don't really have an answer for that. <laughs> also, I think that uh, I just need to go over here. I don't need to use a... Uh, a teleport. Picture of a rooster at Chick fil A. Well, since when does Chick fil A do anything right anyway? Rain. Restoring the elements yes. to the empty may allow life to flourish there once more. enough to return the environment to the way it was. No, we need to gradually reintroduce life, beginning with plants. Not just any plants, though, but those that won't be a burden on a weakened land. Mm. 
You've taken an interest in gardening. Oh, what a welcome surprise! Hello. It seems you caught me rambling to myself. How embarrassing. I've been studying botany, you see. Hoping that the knowledge would help our work in the empty. But never mind that for now. What brings you to the Crystarium? It was my understanding that the final days were behind us. Well, you see, Ishtola had this um, brilliant idea. Let me tell you about it as we probably fade into another scene. You wish to combat this otherworldly threat with the power of light? Please, let me help. Though I've lost my connection to Hydaelyn, I can still manipulate light to a degree. If there is a chance I could save others with that power, then I have to try. Oh, looks like Zero made the, uh, Tis done. The Zero is now with us in the flesh. The spirit vessel I shall hold on to for operating the tower. Sounds good. Here's some instructions. This will help me to make sense of the controls, will it? There's a levity in his words that wasn't there before. It heartens me to know he is well. Alive and kicking. I shall see to the preparations as per his instructions. My thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. That said, it is customary that my kind receive fitting payment for services rendered. Not unlike we void sent then. In that case, you may devour some of my ether. Are you mad? I'll do no such thing. The very suggestion is absurd. Here's the culture clash moment. Now, now, let's calm down. We all have our preferences, and I'm sure no offense was intended. I shall attend to the tower now. The rest, I leave to you. Zero, was it? My name is Reen. It's a pleasure to meet you. This world isn't what I expected. While light is indeed strong here, it's not pervasive or overwhelming. Everything looks much as it does in the source. I mean, until you get uh, far out enough. We have the Warrior of Darkness to thank for that. If you're interested, I would be glad to show you around. Yeah, here the Warrior of Light is known as the Warrior of Darkness. It's a long story, and is basically the entirety of Shadowbringers.
just an ordinary sky. Ordinary and beautiful. It definitely wasn't always this way. To think that after so much loss, they could reclaim this. It's also kind of really cloudy right now, so it's not particularly beautiful. Maybe their titles are up. And so that is probably going to be the end of quest number one. There are seven quests in this patch. That's, uh, it didn't take very long to, for you to hear about that. take the silver pieces because uh, I don't know if you can see this is my inventory here and it's constantly pretty full I if I need to worry about food at any point I will go out of my way to either um, buy it on the market or just make it myself of course I can't make level 90 foods yet I will be able to soon I do wish there was an option to automatically enable text advance um, when there is voice acting. Ah yeah, Zero uh, would not be attuned to any of the ether arts here. Hey there. It's Lena. Lena is very good. She also has kind of a Scottish accent, which sounds pretty neat. So basically a lot the same thing as when we were trying to gather ether to open that void portal. Where the guardians just are afraid of ether entirely. Not helped by the fact that they like they physically cannot use ether. That's why they built Magitech. Shall you? Really? I mean, it's not like a complete stranger is going to be able to convince anyone 
Especially a complete stranger from another world. Also, China's is a really cute name. Alright. Switch to more Off to your war. Other city from Shadow Bringers. Man, it's gonna be real easy to tell where the uh, where the quest NPC is. I should point out that this is the first um, the first patch since I've started playing Final Fantasy XIV, where I where I am experiencing new content at the same time as everyone else. Uh, well, yes and no? Probably not. I love how they just kind of pan away during the explanation. It's like, yeah, we already know what's what's going on. We don't need to go over the whole thing. Plus, they're not going to actually write dialogue for the Warrior of Light.
interesting way of doing. Just kind of spread the word kind of on the down low and then make an announcement. you guys. Right. Interesting that you would react to the name of Thankwood there. Those text boxes were just like saying, these people are following you. Uh, if they stop following you for any reason, you can go back where you met them and talk to them and they'll follow you again. Welcome to the Beehive. This is basically a nightclub because you're more... Are they pantomiming a battle? Yes, that's what they're doing. Oh, they're thrusting something into somewhere. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're more used to be like a luxury resort to use very brief terms about it. But, um... Basically, Shadowbringers happened, and now it's not so much. By the way, that little explosion you just saw there, that is uh, Pedro Tunnel, which basically makes it so you walk around faster. Uh, it's something specific to bards and machinists, which means I can do it too. Yeah, Peloton is not as fast as, say, sprinting, but um, it lasts longer and uh, has much less of a cooldown. got some automation here. Try to clean things. Keep them a little better shape than they used to be at least. A 
rules, big boy. Got some big plans here. Gotta go back to the top now and speak with China's. Go back to the right plaza now. Wait, where is he? Oh, okay. So. Kind of hidden there. Hooray, our plan is working. Don't praise China's too hard or else he's going to be stuck in a self-doubt feedback loop. So I definitely know that feeling. Specifically recognizes Reen. It's like, oh, the Warrior of Light is trying to save her home. Yeah, we're, we're down to help. Oh, also, the Oracle of Light is around here too and asking for help as well with the same thing. Mm, Soylent male as people, sort of. Yep, pretty much. I love that little hat tip. That's, that's a girl. Um, skill speed. I'm not even using any of my skill speed out now. So basically, when we met Zero originally, she basically didn't care about anything. So the fact that now she's kind of opening her eyes and like able to see that there is another way that, uh, than the way that uh, she's been used to for all this time on the 13th.
Hey, buddy. Three an hour. Probably, uh, probably not, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, it is. I can visit casually at some other point. Uh, as a little bit of background, uh, during her time on the first, uh, Yishtola basically made this place her home, except that um, the, this is a tribe that specifically does not go by their given names and therefore have to take a different name. I forget exactly why. But um, she went with the name of her own master, Master Matoya, who, who we have had several dealings with in the past. There we go, in accordance with custom when she lived in Nino. I believe light taints everything that touches, even their true names. I respect them speakers here. Of, once, of what you once knew here in Norvrant. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you're not wrong, Runar. Hey, Jewel. Hydration achieved. I should I should say by I should not just say hey Jewel, I should say Jewel. Yeah, you can absolutely have good guys wield darkness and bad guys wield light. We learned that once again during Shadowbringers. Yes, two BKs. Um, I believe it was uh, Vix and Mazzy who were in BK mode at the same time. Uh, and then eventually Vix finished, so it was impossible for three people to be in BK mode at the same time, so uh, I called it a two. Oh, right. Yeah, I. it was a hell of a time trying to... I uh, hope that Mazzy doesn't start streaming all of a sudden. 
area. There we go. Works now. I love how Zero is just shocked at how people are willing to help us fight. I don't, but hopefully Avera does. Sure enough, everyone here is just saying Alin Tuta. I mean, I don't think that, uh, I don't think that Zero needs to worry about lights and purities. But you know, when in Rome. wet, but otherwise no different. We certainly have, and everyone's down for our plan. Alrighty.
off to the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. Got some uh, nice convenient shortcuts on my mouse. Yes, it is me. Yeah, the voice acting kind of comes and goes. It's a little weird. Of course, to have, you know, this enormous amount of voice acting would be very expensive, and I honestly don't know how uh, Star Wars The Old Republic does it. Like, everything is voice acting. Even the multiple different lines that the player character can say. Magnus. <laughs> you delete them already complete quest process. Oh, you can actually delete them from your file system. Interesting. That's kind of where you need it the most, though. Let's do it. Oh, every game is huge on PC. I think Final Fantasy XIV is up to 47 gigabytes, something like that. Oh, this is gonna be voice acting. So this is the Flood of Light. I don't remember much of the time when darkness consumed the 13th. Just the cold and the emptiness. Zero? Are you alright? I... I'm fine. You're the one who stopped this. Oh, no, no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minfilia. She's since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. I see. Let's get started then, shall we?
the transmitters are set. Whenever you're ready. for one steeped in darkness like me. <gasps> Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero, alive. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. This power were mine to wield. Don't do it, Zero. Don't do it. I will not succumb. Not to darkness. Not to light. What were you thinking? She's taken light into herself. Her body struggles to contain it. She needs help. Better now, I think. Then you're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? I had to know if I could command the light. If I could change my fate. Once, I would never have dared to dream it. But your friendship and your trust has helped me to see new possibilities in myself and everything else. Perhaps that's why, when I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony, and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love, or so I convinced myself. Then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself and find the strength to live. And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem, no matter where I am, 
To be able to think that brought me peace. And it's a blessing I owe entirely to my friends. Those who believe in us. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish to take in more light, I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. Thing is, though, isn't that going to affect her ability to come back to the source? Power of light and dark, you'll be unstoppable. I certainly hope so. Right then. I'm counting on you. Here I go. Warmth welling within me. Then I believe it worked. With this power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear. Hopefully, what we just did doesn't affect your ability to return to the source. Also, I always feel weird when, like, we finish a cutscene and it kind of shunts us, like, halfway across the world. Plus number three, then I believe. I mean, I can come here anytime, so don't worry about me. We'll see me around. Let's uh, go to the outdoor. Just dash. Dash and Pelotarish. They do stack, so. Unfortunately, you can't mount up in town, so. Yeah, I always overestimate, or underestimate rather, the amount of time that I'm going to end up spending on this game. This might be a longer stream. If y'all need to drop out, that's fine. I am recording it, so this will go up on YouTube over the next few days.
Yeah, zero souls secure her vessel. Yeah. Source. That plunks us in the middle of Mordola. Let's go ahead and which one do you at home? I guess I could have used the return spell for that because this is my current designated home base. Dharma, not to be confused with Dharma from Dharma and Greg or the Dharma Initiative. Yeah, I was worried about that too. A good thing to good thing to know that it worked as intended. Also, to be clear about this line, um, Yishtola doesn't see like normal people. Uh, I would liken it the most to the way that Jordi LaForge can see in Star Trek the next generation. Like, she doesn't see a light, she sees ether. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Sentence that you don't see every day. If all is in readiness, then I will assume my dragon form and fly to the moon. are not cheap. Goodness knows I'm doing a lot of teleporting when uh, working on my uh, on my crafting. I currently am sitting at 4.8 million. I have been trying to get a house though, which uh, the minimum that you're going to pay for a house in this game is uh, three and three quarter million. Also, you can't see it, but Living Way is a little bunny critter. Well, you can kind of... There he is. So I think we are about to do a dungeon. I don't trust my connect my uh, connection to stream in 1080. No, I am recording in 1080, but uh, also I'm not playing in 1080 to begin with. Yeah, 
this is uh, 1366 by 768. I just don't like playing games in full screen unless I have to. So here we are on the 13th, also known as The Void. forget which stats I'm trying to get. Let's see. I closed that tab. Alright. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna pick one. Um yeah, correct it. Sure. Well we have like fifty of those anyway. <laughs> Just with all of the questing and uh, extracting material from gear and all that. Although I've been upgrading gear at a fair tick. So. All is in readiness. Without further ado, then. Light from beyond the rift, shine forth and banish the darkness. Let's hope this works. Excellent. The tower is replete with light from the bath Areng. Commencing transmission. It will be. It seems to be working. It works. It works. Light is flowing into the void. May this light illuminate your way. You can do it, Zero. I believe in you. I kind of wonder if the, uh, the shards can still potentially collapse into the source. I imagine it will still uh, result in an umbral calamity. Look, but, an uh, opening. Don't have to worry about Zodiac anymore. It worked. Let us waste no time and sally forth. But Sally's not here. Oh, wait, you mean go there. Alas, I fear the breach may be too narrow for you, Vritra. For a blessing, I prepared my simulacrum for such an eventuality. My true form shall stand guard here while we explore the chasm. It is faint. But I sense the presence of a dragon. No doubt my sister's essence trapped within Zeromus. Not where she was held captive before, but somewhere much deeper. The descent will not be so easy this time. The 
The chasm swarms with void scent. Summoned by Golbez, perhaps, or born of the residual darkness. However they came to be, we shall cut a path through them. Is everyone ready? Zero? Stinian is back. Stinian's been around. Also, if you mean the weird bar like here-ish, that's where... That light should shine in the void once more. That's where the, um... The current world I'm in shows up. No and... single one of us could have made it so. Only by joining hands were we able to kindle this light. I don't feel like displaying that all the time, and I don't know how to turn it off. Do you see, Golbez? We needn't damn others to save ourselves. You knew this once, surely, when you tried to befriend me. When you were one of the precious few left willing to trust in another. But that man is gone. And in his place... A mockery of his beliefs. <gasps> it's the same as before. Though we walk different paths, we seek the same destination. And yet... I see. Well, as you can see, Estinian gets better. <laughs> There is something I must know. A truth that lies waiting in the dark. Okay. Well, oh, I addict. So let me just check here. Not really. Yep, this is quest number six, and this is where we're going to run into our dungeon for this patch. Termination phase. And the lunar subterrain now accessible. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to go on break. So y'all can take a moment. Get some drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall uh, take on the Lunar Subterrane and what comes after that. So, I'll see you in a bit.